took the Onkyo apart and that chip right there that I put a heat, heat sink on um, had to do a reflow on it and I'm not sure exactly um, if it's gonna work after I turn it back off turn it back on again you see over here that it shows it has to show what speakers are on in order for it to work uh, it stopped working that's the purpose I'm showing this video is because that chip was apparently causing issue. It's still warm from I used a heat gun and just blew around it and uh, I don't know if that chip got too hot and uh, kind of you know warped the chip and which happens and it loses its solder joint connections on uh, those type of chips. So I'm going to go ahead, and I have not done this yet. You know, I've got music. I was walking down the street the other day. I'm going to see what happens when I shut it off. And hopefully when I turn it back on, it still works. I'm going to be sad if it doesn't. But, well, we'll see. I actually don't have very much hope. For it to work when I turn it back on, when I turn it back on, but I still hope it does. Huh? Well, what up? I mean, normally reflows. I haven't done a reflow, honestly. I mean, really. But I use the heat gun, and. It was working for a while, so I assume it was still hot and the solder joints were still warm, or, you know, hot, and they weren't solid yet. And it was working. Shut it off, turn back on, it stopped working. Well, that's not holding, that's not true. I actually moved it, took, took it apart, moved it, and it had time to cool down. This time, I did it again. I uh, used a tool to push the chip down downward and uh, try to cool it down quickly so I got it hot pressed on get some a little bit of pressure on it and uh, try to cool it down blew on it a little bit to cool it down and I put a heat sink on it so let's we'll see if that stays working or not so far so far is still uh, still coming back up with music Lights up. Neat. Alright, cool.